everybody. Well, it's four o'clock in the afternoon in the UK and we're darkness already. I hate the dark nights, drawing curtains and all that stuff. Still, it's, um, <laughs> it's light within us, isn't there? That's what we have to remember. We have a new moon in Sagittarius. This is a difficult moon for me. And the thing is, I've noticed on the internet there are so many people giving all their interpretations and I've got a bit frustrated lately because it's all theory. Everyone's got their ideas and their theories and nobody actually knows anything. Not really. Even the masters don't know the answer to everything. There's a saying, there are those who don't know, those who think they know and those that do know. And I have not come across anyone that actually knows anything. It probably fits into your concept at the time. Oh yes, that's true. But at the end of the day, we have to find out our own truth. And I find that very, very difficult because I'm always asking, well, used to, I've had to learn to sort of stand in my truth, follow my heart. I think in a past life, I've had a lot of mental ability lot of intellectual and this time I wouldn't say it's been taken from me I'm fairly accomplished but I think I've had to learn to get in touch with my heart so this moon Sagittarius in a very important place in the galactic center which is a very powerful spot I think it's doing a lot of people mentally you see it's opposite Gemini and some astrologers say it's in Gemini it's actually in Scorpio Sorry, Scorpio, Sagittarius. <coughs> so it's opposite Gemini, which is a mental phone calls, the internet. And I, I, I don't know about you, but today, well, the whole week has been one of a dreadful, dreadful challenge of communication, misunderstandings. I'm on the phone all day trying to get the parking number for a parking fine I've got on my car. Nobody's ever there. You get emails that get returned. Well, you know, you've all been through it. So this is a frustrating day. So I thought, I've got to do a video to keep myself calm. <laughs> and to sort of really just share some knowledge because I've been going through a very difficult time. I think we all have in a way. But for me in particular, something happened the other day that on the surface would be good, but it has brought a lot of difficulties with it, as things often do. And I was actually, I've had a really, really difficult week and I was sitting in here, no, I say in the kitchen, actually, I, my kitchen's my place, we're talking to God. <laughs> I've broken my coffee, looking at the trees. And I suddenly thought, my God, I'm amazing. Absolutely amazing. The stuff I've been through, not so much spiritually, but here on this plane. You know, I was born during a very difficult time, during the war years. We had, as I said before, we didn't have food, we didn't have clothes, we had nothing. And so that was a good start to the day, to the year, to my life, you know, having to adjust to all this trauma and the fears. And mother was off her head most of the time, dad was out driving an ambulance. So this is you know, a kind of repeat performance in a way, because I think we're all going through similar things of, you know, are we going to have enough? Is there going to be money to go around? All that sort of thing. So this moon is challenging a lot of us. I mean, Sagittarius, it should be positive. It should be. And I think, well, what's happened to cause it to cause so much trouble for me? Christmas time for me is a no-no. It's always a very difficult time. I never have a good time at Christmas. Even when I was married, you know, we, we, we struggled. In those days we struggled and we didn't go on terribly well, so it was all, always a tricky time. So now I've got the hang of not having it. That's okay. But so I was sitting in the kitchen the other day and I thought, my God, I'm amazing. This stuff, I mean, you look back over your life, of course, I'm not older than you. You look back and you think, how the hell did I do that? Because I've been on my own all the time. I've had obviously invisible help, but I've had no one here to actually talk to or be with or just to help me. I've had to find out. I think I could run my own um, advice bureau, to be honest. I, I could advise anybody on anything. Homelessness, social security, social services, I, I've, you know, medical. I've got an answer for everything. <laughs> <laughs> because I want to go through it all. It's all experience. It's not just answers. It's knowing from experience. But then again, it's just my opinion. And so that, oh, shall I start an advice agency? Shall I start, you know, online? You know, go come to Beth for advice. I, mean, I am a qualified counsellor as well. I'm not sure I like to do counselling because everyone's got problems. I wouldn't. 
want to get involved with to be honest you've got to be pretty tough to be a counsellor I think so I was sitting in my kitchen looking at the trees thinking my god I'm amazing absolutely amazing I really felt that I can't say I felt it before we're all sort of trying to love ourselves and sit in the mirror and say I love you and all this stuff but I, I can't do that but this was a sudden realisation I'm actually quite something <laughs> You know, the stuff I've had to go through and learn, house moves and, oh, you know, sexual problems, money problems, everything. I think the only thing I haven't tried is lesbianism and drugs. I, I don't want to, I don't fancy that. <laughs> so I was thinking about this, reflect on what a miracle I am, and suddenly this energy came. Well, obviously it was the higher powers that were quite approving of my realisation. And I, my whole body was like shaking and shivering with the energy. It was like a cold, I expect you've experienced it. It's this cold, sort of shivery. When you get, an, you know, realise something, you think, oh, that, I've gone cold. This is more than cold. This was really a c complete, almost like a transformation, I would say. I thought, oh, my goodness, that was brilliant. And then I realised it's a, a, just out of that and not, you know, well, not long after that, that that was my other self coming in. I've always felt that I've not been completely me. I, I, I've not been completely me. I take homeopathic remedies and I gave one to my daughter once and she said to me, Mum, I feel as I'm me again. And this is what I felt after this shake-up. It was very profound, actually, very profound, as though the me that I've been looking for has been lost for so long because of all the traumas, all the dramas and pops. I came in without it. I don't know. It was a bit like a soul retrieval, I suppose. So I sat with this for a while and I think, God, oh, that's really amazing. I did feel a lot different, a lot... Well, it's hard to describe the feeling or to say you feel yourself, but I felt like me that I used to feel when I was a teenager even, even before I got married. I think, well, that's why I've made so many mistakes, or apparent mistakes, because the for me hasn't been here. I've been acting on auto drive or whatever, intuition, but the for me that I should have had to help me has been somewhere else. And I know I've done a lot of disassociating. You may, some of you medical people know that. Well, it's kind of a mental illness. You leave your body and another personality comes in. And I don't, I think I know what that means. That I've actually traveled through this lifetime with so many different personalities that I've been clearing. I think the Arcturians say that, that you choose a lifetime and wish to clear other lifetimes and so you do change personality change as you get older and it's this associating thing I mean I haven't told anybody about it but it will be considered not not good but I, because of the esoteric understanding I know it's okay but people do say that I'm just not myself for quite a while and I think that's the trouble with my daughter she had a different mother because I did have an experience many years ago of going through a kind of a crisis like I often do and that something had to me take care of you know my daughter so she'd obviously seen a different mother than who I am now which I think is a lot of the problem so th th the different me's that have been coming and going all my life they probably have been sort of standing in for this real me that came in the other day I was just making sense. I just want to share it because I think other people may be sort of feeling a little bit odd, and you don't know who, you don't know parts of ourselves. I think we're reclaiming. It's almost like a reclaim, a soul retrieval, consciously. Every now and then we think, "Oh, that's me." The trouble is, although I thought it was a very positive thing at the time, and it probably ha will be eventually, what it's done, and I'm suddenly thinking this morning, I had no sleep last night and a dreadful time, what is really happening here? I thought this new self would be brilliant to, you know, send me forward, all my wishes and dreams fulfilled, money, abundance, love, you know. I thought, hang on a minute, this self has just come in, where's it been? Who is it? What has it experienced? And why did it leave? All those questions, you know, we have to question, don't we? We really have to question. And I thought, why, why did it leave? Where has it been? What has it, why has it come now? And I thought, well, maybe I've had to be stronger 
Perhaps when it left, I was unhappy, past life, whatever, I don't know. It had to leave for a reason. Maybe I drove it out. Maybe there was, it couldn't be with me because there was so much happening. You speculate on all these things. We have to speculate and we'll try and work it out. And I thought, well, maybe, although it's come back, it wants sorting. It's just, obviously, it left for a reason and it may not be a good one. So I'm going to have to go through all this again, assessing, re-evaluating, thinking, working out, oh Lord. So this moon in Sagittarius, it's very psychological and philosophical and searching and it's a very learning sort of moment. I'm going to look at my, oh I don't know, I've got them on me, my glasses, I don't know what I've done with them. <laughs> Put them somewhere. Anyway, um, so, um, this is what very much. So I, I don't know how 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 you were feeling, any of you, you know, but it's probably a similar thing. And again, I was going back to the internet when all these people have these theories, and I thought, it's so frustrating because I know for me that it isn't right. And of course, the moon is very flexible, moving about. Take it moves to a sign, takes thirteen degrees, so it moves on a different sign every three days, right? So what we're experiencing now is a full blast of this new moon, and it's bringing up a lot of this stuff. Where are my glasses? Oh, here they are. <laughs> and so this is how I am getting more and more forgetful. I'm going through this real personality crisis of knowing who am I, why do I think this, why do I think that, it's driving me nuts. So I am doing the video to try and, uh, gosh I've got to go, I'm rabbiting on again. Anyway darlings, just don't take everything on the internet as accurate, question it, is it right for me? Because there are so many interpretations at these, diff at these times, everyone's got their theories, nobody actually knows except you. Okay, God bless for now, dear ones. Take care. I've got to get this thing sorted out again.